Hello guys, this is Spicy, and this is a review on the Bandai High Grade 144 Scale Man Roadie. So this is from the Iron Blooded Orphan series. Uh, one of these uh, grunt suits. I don't know what faction this uh, mobile suit belonged to. Uh, released in 2015, made in Japan. So we got some picture of the Man Roadie. It's obviously. Uh, Build based on the uh, Gujon, the Gundam Gujon, right here. All right, some pictures of Monrodi. Uh, original retail price one thousand yen, very cheap. And uh, let's take a look at the manual. So these are the twenty fifteen uh, IBO kits, and they don't have English translation. It's a relatively cheap uh, kit to pick up. You can probably get it around 13 to 14 bucks in the US. Some more picture of the Monrodi in the action pose. Very nice. Alright, so uh, not much accessories uh, with this uh, kit. Uh, we do have some stickers for the, uh, I guess, the, the eye section. <laughs> it's kind of very uh, Zaku inspired. Uh, it's technically not a mono eye, it's like three uh, red triangles. And this one here, I used uh, uh, this one for uh, uh, the head, but you can actually, uh, you know, uh, use this piece and then stick the eye wherever you want if you wanted to uh, be looking anywhere other than straight forward. And uh, unlike some of the Universal Sentry kits, you can you cannot adjust the mono eye. And uh, I did some panel lining on this kit, also painted in some details. Pretty cool. And uh, the legs attached onto the Manrodi right now is the, uh, it's a space type leg. <laughs> I have one uh, attached the wrong way. But anyway, these are the space type legs with the thrusters. And uh, we also got some thrusters on the bottom. Also the peg hole for the action base. We got the uh, two more thrusters on the back. And yeah. Pretty cool looking kit. It's very different from uh, you know your usual uh, Gundam or your uh, you know uh, Zeon mobile suits. Uh, this thing kind of look like a sumo wrestler <laughs> or uh, yeah, just something uh, very unusual. But uh, it looks really cool. Yeah. Uh, so I got this kit for Antonio, and uh, this one is gonna be part of a custom. I um, might actually uh, transplant some of the arms from uh, Zigok to make this like some sort of a amphibious Xeon mobile suit or something. Anyway, let's talk about the accessories. So we got a machine gun right here. It's a regular machine gun for the Manrodi. And then we got this uh, hammer chopper. You can use this end here as a hammer to hammer uh, <laughs> other mobile suits or switch it around and use it as a chopper to chop up mobile suits yeah so really not much there and uh, let's talk about articulation so you can actually rotate the head a little bit since it's on a ball pack it's a double ball pack one on the uh, one in the torso but uh, as you can see there's really not much you can do uh, you can rotate the head left and right like that that's all you can do. Uh, we do have a swing out polycap for the arms. Uh, polycap attached to the ball pack, 360. You can uh, move the arm up a little bit like that. Uh, this shoulder armor piece does get in the way, so it kind of hinders the mobility. Actually, uh, yeah, let's try to do better. So, this is uh, the best you can get. Yeah. We have uh, this shoulder armor that's attached to this uh, poly cap right there, so that kind of hinder its um, movement for the arm, for the shoulders. Uh, bicep swivel, single bent elbow here, very nice. Hands on the ball joint, pretty cool. All right, and then uh, we got a, uh, I guess ab crunch. Then uh, we have a 360 degree rotation on the waist. It's actually a ball joint attached to a socket. 
And now we have these uh, side skirts that you can actually lift up a little bit, like that. It's attached via a poly cap. And then I lift up the front skirt. Got a universal joints for the hips, so you can do the split. I wrote, uh, move it back and forth. We got the thigh cut right there. Oops. Yeah, these. Uh, not really a big fan of these uh, ki type of connection with the poly cap. And uh, you can single bend on the elbow. Ah, single bend on the knees, not the elbow. Uh, got some a uh, little bit of uh, articulation here for the feet. Really, not much you can do there. Maybe move it back and forth like that. Yeah. Little bit side to side, almost no side to side. And yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, the man Rody. Now, uh, if you bought option set number nine, you can actually convert the man Rody into the uh, man road uh, ground type. So I actually did bought MS option set number nine. So now I got these legs and I'm gonna convert it into the uh, ground type man Rody. So I got two of these feet. Right here, one for each side. That. So, what do you want to do? You want to lift up this. You want to pop up these legs like that, leaving uh, that piece right there, the universal uh, leg jo hip joint. Then you uh, plug this in. Now we have the legs for the uh, Landman Roadie. Actually, uh, looks pretty good. Then uh, let's plug this in. And yeah, you can see the color matches and looks pretty interesting. I do prefer these legs over the uh, <laughs> uh, these legs. Yeah. Then uh, I guess you can use these legs as uh, thrusters for another kit. Something. Attach it to uh, back as a uh, part of a backpack thing. Right. Let's see. We don't have any uh, connection ports on the back. Otherwise, you can actually use this as like give it extra uh, type of boost or something. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. All right, so one before I forget, uh, there's also another gimmick here on the back of the man Rody on the back skirt. Uh, we have this thing you can pull out, and you can use that to uh, store weapons, such as the uh, hammer chopper. Thing you can also uh, store the machine gun like that, or like that. Yeah. So overall, this is a this is a pretty nice kit. You know, it's a little bit different from what uh, most people are used to in the Gundam universe. I think uh, this guy and the Gujon are actually uh, uh, very interesting. I I like these uh, unique mobile suits because uh, you know they are not uh, not normal. <laughs> And uh, just uh, you know, break break up the you know uh, all the other suits that all look the same and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys uh, find this information helpful, and uh, I do highly recommend picking this up because uh, it's a it's a pretty uh, affordable kit, and uh, there's quite a lot of things you can do to it. So that's pretty much it for this review. Hope you guys find the information helpful. Thanks for watching.